Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan Newbro and I'm the CEO of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic and I'm thrilled that you've joined us today and I'm joined here on the stage of the Pikes Peak Center by our music director Joseph Caballé Domenic who, uh, who will speak with us a little today. Hello. So let's, let's begin by, by talking about Tchaikovsky's Rococo Variations mm -hmm. for cello and orchestra. Um, this, is, this is a piece that, that to me almost, uh, it, it, it almost seems like a lie. It's a crazy piece, it's, it's a not a lie, piece. it's yeah. a crazy piece. It's, you know, the difficulty of the piece is to make it sound like very easy. Yeah. And that's yes. what, uh, you know, many times when you go to hear a concert, you just hear it and you say, oh, that's a short piece, it's easy. Is that really a solo piece? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the difficulty, that's, that's why the solos and the orchestra chief, you know, to make it easy, something that it's extremely difficult. Right. Uh, it's, it's a piece that Tchaikovsky, you know, try to copy, not to copy, but he was kind of following his uh, hero in music, which is Mozart, and then he wrote this concerto. And, and you know, the structure is so clear, everything, it's so detailed, every single note is there, and it's so transparent that sometimes can be like a hell, mm -hmm. just to perform mm -hmm. it. It sounds like Tchaikovsky at his most classical. Yeah, and that's, that's what he tried. Tchaikovsky, it's, it's, it so, it sounds like a, it's almost off-putting to hear him at his most classic. I think it's like a homage, yeah. you know. I mean, he wanted to, you know, to do this kind of uh, homage to to his preferred composer, and he achieved yeah. it. You know, he he, without losing his own language, because you can still hear Tchaikovsky with with the harmonies and so on. Uh, you feel you're transported to another area. And it's it's the closest thing he's got to a cello concerto. Yes, that's I think right. That's interesting. He yeah. didn't call it a cello concerto. Because it's not, I mean, 17 minutes, it's not enough to be a good shirt. Yeah. And, and it's not like what they were supposed to do, like first movement, second movement, third movement. You know, I mean, yeah. in his other concertos, piano concertos, violin concerto, it's very extensive form. Like first movement movie, like around 20, 25 minutes, and then Allegro, then the slow movement, and then a kind of a rondo mm -hmm. in, the, in the third one. With this piece, he could not do that, because it's just variations, you know, it's, it's seven variations. In the Fitzenhagen uh, edition, in his own edition, was eight variations, and and even in other pieces, he was not following variations from too much. Yeah. So that's kind of a very rare piece for him. You mentioned Fitzenhagen, yeah, the, fa the famous cellist, famous in his day, was his, was Tchaikovsky's collaborator on this piece. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's always a problem when you perform this piece that you have to ask the cello player which which version is he right. playing. You know, the Fitzenhagen or the Tchaikovsky. So Tchaikovsky worked this, uh, he wrote the piece, but somehow he was not very successful with the uh, order of the movements or the order of the variations. You know, he wanted to achieve something, but it didn't work. And Fitzenhagen, as you say, he was the most famous uh, cello player and, and his friend, and he was advising Tchaikovsky, you know, uh, if you do that, the piece will become better, become better. So actually, that was the version that, uh, until let's say 10 years or 15 years, was mostly played. Yep. The Tchaikovsky original was kind of forgotten. Uh, in this, let's say, last 15 years, still Fitzenhagen is the most often played one, but, but there are certain cellists that they want mm -hmm. to go back to what Tchaikovsky had in mind and then they play the original version. So which one is the right one? Uh, I think both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it depends on the cello player. You know? Oh yeah. Uh, if, if they want really to follow the, the structure that Tchaikovsky thought, or if they want to do the, the normal ones. Yeah. yeah. We'll do the fits and hands. Yeah. The let's say the normal one. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I was reading about this. But the, the, this there's almost nothing Rococo about this. There's, Not there's at no all. Rococo theme actually in this piece. It's just it's just Tchaikovsky. Uh, Tchaikovsky with a small a small tools. orchestra. Yeah. You can join us on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, or go to our website, csphilharmonic.org. Thanks very much. Thank you.